you're doing really really well today's pick a card reading is why are they acting this way towards you um yeah should we see what's coming out i have three cards mark cards choose from i've chosen the cats today <laughs> reading one reading number two reading number three for you for why are they acting this way i've no idea what's coming out so uh, take what's resonating with you as well if you find that your eyes were attracted to another pile another another reading as well please go over there and listen to messages there too because i don't know what's coming out when i start your reading off so you know there could be something that may help you i hope this reading helps you as well and uh, hopefully you'll be so generous as to give it a like and subscribe if you're new here i want to thank all of you that is are subscribing and all my older subscribers who are supporting me as well thank you so so much everyone that's having private readings with me also thank you for trusting me with your situations and i hope my readings are helping you also so thank you so much so we get on with your readings today of why are they acting this way pick a card so we've got reading one reading two reading three pause the video if you need more time to make your selection and the timestamps will be in the description box beneath this video along with all the other information you need from me thank you so much i'll see what you're reading Hello my lovelies, welcome back to your reading, those of you who chose the page of wands, the knave of wands in this deck and it's reading number one for you of why your person is acting this way. No idea what's coming out, let's have a look what's their problem, you know, okay, what is their problem, what is their problem, let's deal with some cards from the, I'm using the witch's tarot today, okay. Got a card coming out. The star cards in reverse. They're ignoring you, then I presume. Um, the star card is often someone who doesn't prioritize this person. Um, sometimes I'm wondering if who's been ignored. <laughs> Which side is it? Which way is it? Uh, they also can come out when someone's feeling really low about themselves, especially their appearance, actually. Uh, could even be unwell, but let me get more before I say any more. Okay, the Ten of Swords. So, Ten of Swords often is someone who's hit rock bottom. Um, there could have been an ending here as well. And as you can see, the swords are in the back. So, someone, either you or them, feel like you've been stabbed in the back in some way. Uh, betrayed, stabbed in the back, hurt possibly. Ooh, okay, you're very angry at them. So are you ignoring them? I have to say that. Um, okay, knave of wands, knight of wands. So you're, I'm sensing that they're erratic behaviour because you, a knight of wands is one lusty being. They come into your life, they write, you know, they're, they're your hero, they give you everything, they're very lusty and sexual. But... They do like, they are free spirited. So it's like they're coming, like coming in and out of your life. Uh, they could be, could have been SCX, you know, connection between you. It could have started that way. Something very lusty. Um, so there's been a rock bottom here. So are you angry at them? Who's ignoring who? Are you ignoring them or are they not prioritizing you here as well? There could have been, this could be an X as well, I have to say. The Wheel of Fortune to clarify. Your nine of pentacles is there. They fancy the hell out of you. Ooh, now I'm now I'm conflicted now. So remember I'm reading for the collective. So I'm going to go through some scenarios. That wheel of fortune reverse is telling me that you are sick of probably waiting for this person to for everything to get better. It's like um you know, th this connection I think you felt like was really good at the beginning. Um you were waiting for them to kind of settle down, waiting for them to, um, to you know, 
do something, you know, for the connection that's more permanent. I feel like maybe you stop communicating with them for a reason because I'm looking at your nine of pentacles and your strength card. The nine of pentacles here is um, often a lady who's very self-sufficient and she's strong. Now that's backed up by your strength card, which both cards are about self-respect. So I'm wondering whether, you know, you've had to do something to either um, block them, um, not think about them, even though it's really hard. I feel like they've been coming in and out of your life and not settling down. There's discontentment here. I feel like they fancied you really badly, but I feel like they've messed you around. That's made you very angry. This is a lot of self-respect I can see in the spread. It's like you've had to do this for your own good or to save your sanity. Um, okay, what's their problem? They just free spirited. You they won't settle down. They're not committing. They uh, have, have angered you. They um they are. I nearly said really stupid. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It nearly came out of my mouth. They are really stupid. You know they could have had something really good with you here. There could have been an ending. I can't ignore the ten of swords. Um. It feels very much like a lot of you may have decided to move, walk away from this person for your own good because you do have more self-respect. I still feel like they would lust after you. They probably still are for those of you who are in a lot of contact. But I just feel like you shouldn't really put all your emotional energy into this person because look at that knight of wands knight of wands will come back and charm the birds out the trees and the bees and and then they will just say look i'm going now because i want to go so yeah it's good while they're around it's exciting while they're around but then they disappear um i still think that they probably are lusting after you and fancy you but I'm, if you, if you know, if, if those of you expecting something more at this, as I'm reading right now, and I don't know when you've clicked on the video because the videos are all timeless, so you could have clicked on it a year from now. Um, they're not budging at the minute, I'm sensing. But I'm going to get some oracle cards for you just to have a look what else, you know, what is wrong with them. Okay. We've got coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. So, can you be friends with this person? Mm. Maybe you are friends now in lots of cases. It feels very much like maybe they've. They, do you know what I'm feeling intuitively? It's like they're trying to get back in, 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 in some way. Uh, have you shut the door on them for good? Some of you may have done that and they may have tried to get back in. Um, I know with the Nine of Pentacles and the Strength card, they probably still find you very attractive and they may feel like they're missing out on something as well. A little bit of FOMO, fear of missing out with you. Um, yeah, it's like they want a bit of what, what you are now. Perhaps things have changed a little bit and time has moved on. Watch it though. For those of you who are inquiring, they may be returning because this guy moves fast. So, um, can indicate some kind of return after being, you know, silent or over as well. Okay, we have the card of uh, happiness. Unlock the door to happiness. I'm wondering here if you want much more from this person. You've had to do this for your own good. It feels that way to me, I have to be honest. It's like... Um, you know, it's it feels like it wasn't that they weren't committing or, you know, they were all over the place at the time. OK, let's have a look at some of these cards. Ha <laughs> I said they're attracted to your looks, didn't I? My fantasy. You're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and use them for inspiration. I want you watch it because this person could be making some kind of return towards you. Um, let's get a couple more from this deck. I feel lost without you. People have been asking me what this deck is. And do you know what? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what this one is either. Um, I use it quite a lot. I think it's something called the hang. The hang hyphen so or something like that. And I, I can't remember what this deck is. Um, oh, where have I put the boxes? 
I'll have to find them, won't I? Um, yeah, so this was the Witch's Tarot. That is the Time Island Time Wellness. And this was the Tarot Familiars. Um, your perfection. Your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how, how I attracted you. In, sorry. Your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attracted in someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. They're very attracted to your looks. I knew it with the Nine of Pentacles and the Strength card. So watch it. If you've kind of cut this person off for your own good, they may be making some kind of speedy return unless you kind of wondering and you've clicked on this video today because you're wondering what this person wants because they have made a return. So, they're not looking for commitment, but they do like you. They are You are their fantasy person and they're attracted to you. So, watch out because this guy is lusty. Okay, my lovelies, thank you so, so much. I hope that's helping. Um, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Take care till next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a like. Thank you so much, guys. Please, um, if you need more guidance, um, there's loads of videos on the playlist there. Absolutely tons for you to choose. Everything is timeless. Please give the video one of these. Subscribe. See you later. Bye. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number two and you've chosen card number two for why are they acting this way right now? Which is tarot deck here? Let's choose. So, Wheel of Fortune, you've chosen this black cat. I've chosen this. <laughs> I looked at this today and that's what my cat does. I don't know if any of you are cat owners out there, but when they want something to go out, some biscuits or something like that, the paw goes up. <laughs> I thought, oh my God, that's what mine do. Okay, why are they acting this way though? Wheel of Fortune reversed. They're not happy with something. Oh my gosh. The, the Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, I'll get some more. The Wheel of Fortune in Rose can be discontentment in a relationship. They're not happy. Also, remember, the wheel can shift. They want to be very happy. They're not happy with something. The Five of Cups is um, can be regrets. It can be the feeling of being not wanted or unloved. Are they asking for more love? Four of Pentacles is there. They're asking for more security. They're asking for something off you here. So, so there's chaos here. Are they are they asking you to prioritise them? Six of Swords. Yep. Uh-oh. I'm going to be honest. It looks like they don't know how you're feeling. And they're asking you to put them number one. So you could just be busy <laughs> so the temperance is telling me that there's been some misunderstandings there's been some disruptive energy so th things have like, got a little bit out of control you could have uh for example um, say things you don't mean your person could be saying things to you or messaging things to you that they're not really meaning their love is genuine you're a person of mystery major arcanas you got four Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, Reverse, Strength and the High Priestess. They want to move on. I think they want to move on and be happy. But they're asking for your attention, for your security. The High Priestess is telling me that they are, um, you've, there's some kind of, they might think even to the point of you keeping something from them or some kind of secret from them. Um, so they may have come across as moody, you know. They might be accusing you of something as well as what I'm hearing. Also, so they're coming across as thinking you don't love them, you don't want them, and they feel quite miserable to me. They might think that, oh, um, maybe you've withdrawn a little bit emotionally because of their behaviour. There's been a lot of miscommunications here with the temperance in reverse. So they're saying things you don't mean. They seem to be... Um, Mm. they're not that calm i'm sensing so i think they're looking quite miserable and moody at the minute towards you this is funny the wheel of fortune has come up upright and it's come out in reverse with a different deck okay so they they just want because if i uprighted that wheel of fortune it'd be double whammy of happiness so they don't want to fight with you they don't you know they don't want this they don't want what's going on at the minute where you're maybe not agreeing um maybe withdrawn your love a little bit from them 
They still want to be genuinely happy. Your strength card is telling me that this person loves you, but they, they want to see something coming from you. You may have withdrawn from them for some reason. Uh, the strength card can be patience. It can be someone's wild side. It could be someone who wants to go for it. So they're asking you maybe to just jump in with them, you know, to go for this connection. Yeah, ascending, I thought so. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So I know this person is definitely wanting you. Is there drama going on in the background? Whoever's fault it is, there seems to be an underlying drama where people are a little bit, you know, the Six of Swords is a transitioning card. It's moving on. It can also be a relocation card. So I don't know if some of you are in these, you know, long-term relationships. I'm seeing water. So there could be water between you. Um, there could be land as well. You know, Six of Swords is a travel card, but it means you're moving on. Even if there's still stress in the boat with the swords that weigh the boat down, it means you're still moving on to something, happiness. They just want to be happy with you and they don't want any drama. Even if the drama I'm sensing may involve others and not you two, but you two seem to have got involved in some way. Okay, let's get some more oracles. Affection. Showing affection creates a loving bond. Oh, they're after hugging a kiss, maybe? I think your person is saying, look, do you love me? I need to know that you want me. I need to know that you're there with me. You know, they're a bit moody, <laughs> aren't they? Um, okay. you see feeling lost i'm trying to make this work but i feel so lost i don't know what to do or say anymore and it's easier just to stay silent okay missing you i miss you i wish things were different Ooh. okay we've got the attention of others I'm addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needing needed and I don't feel whole without it. Please remember that might not be all of for you, okay? Wild side. There's a side to you I haven't seen and want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. Are you a bit shy? Are they, okay, the feeling I got then, let me know this is you. I don't know who I've tapped into, actually. I felt like some of you were shy, but it was coming across your person as being distant or a different way. Some of you are being very distant, I know that, but it's like they're misunderstanding you. That's a feeling. Maybe they think you're not into them. Uh, that's a feeling I'm getting. They're after, it's kind of saying, look, I like you. I want more from you. They may be asking you to show that wild side, like I said, the wild side, the strength card. Yeah, that won't be all of you, but I just felt like some of you might be a little bit shy. I'm a little bit shy, <laughs> believe it or not. But yeah, it's like um, perhaps it's a new relationship. Some of you are like brand new and you're just getting to know each other. So some of you, you know, you might be just protecting your heart space or some of you may have been burnt by another connection or another person. Yeah, it's like they're telling you to let go and let loose. Uh, they may think you don't like them the way they like you. I have to be honest. All right, my lovelies, thank you so much. I really hope that helps you. Don't forget, there's more readings. Everything is timeless. Don't forget to click, sorry, click, give the video a like there and subscribe as well. If you are new, there's more like this. There's more collectives. Thank you so much. Take care till next time. Bye. Hey, my lovelies, welcome to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number three, you've chosen the white cat, the queen of wands, queen of wands. So today I'm using the Witch's Tarot. Let's have a look why your person is acting the way they are as I'm reading right now. Okay. Ooh, okay, let me see. Six of Pentacles. I kind of, I don't know why. I'm getting that overwhelming feeling that you that some of you come over from a different pile. I don't know why it's like, I need some more information. I'll do pile three. Uh, six if you have hello <laughs> okay six of pentacles what's their problem the fool's reversed temperance is out in reverse 
the fool can be an idiot they're jealous I always think the fool is a fool in reverse this person's a bit of an idiot um, yeah they want a new beginning of some kind um, oh there we go the queen of cups is coming out they want you to be understanding there could have been some misunderstandings here they might be jealous of somebody else giving you attention uh, they want this to get better because they still have feelings for you and they're hoping that you have feelings for them too see your two major arcanas there are your food and reversing your temperance so majorly their feeling is that they may have acted like an idiot um, the fool in reverse is somebody who's been careless with your feelings. Um, maybe they they realise that maybe they haven't invested enough with you. They have been like scatty or look, you know, the fool card in the right of weight looks up into the air. I don't know if you can see here. Yeah, you see, they haven't been, they're in reverse here. They may have been acknowledging, look, I haven't been seeing what's in front of me here. Um, and I've been a bit of a nearly swore then a little bit of an idiot so they want to move on from this situation they want things to get better um they might be jealous they might be coming in now because maybe they think oh my god if i don't do something they're going to lose you seven of wands this is somebody protecting against competition um sometimes they can protect themselves in some cases um it's kind of like the feeling that I'm getting is they're giving, they want to give you now maybe more than what they were giving you before. That six of pentacles is someone who's being very generous towards you. So they want to help you. They want you to help them, by the way, but that would be emotionally. So they're asking you to reach out. They're asking you to respond. They're, you know, they, they want to, they, they're kind of seeing the error of their ways of the, you know, I've been a moody idiot. I've not treated you right. I haven't been putting you first, but I still like you. La I better do something before someone else takes you off me. That's what I can see here. They're still invested. The five of pentacles in reverse is telling me there is a return in some cases, but this is a recovery. Um, interestingly enough, these two together may indicate some kind of employment. So I don't know if you work with this person or whether you worked with this person you're going to see them again in some way or there could be a new job around energetically whether it's you or i have to say that because sometimes a different message can come out so yeah they're asking for your attention here what's going on let's get more oracles maybe they're asking for your understanding it's like look i've been an idiot i hope you don't hate me um i hope you still have feelings for me Maybe we could sort this. Karmic relationships come out. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So they haven't let you go, not with this. Um, no, perhaps you are in this karmic situation. Perhaps they have learned the lessons and have come back. They do feel like energetically they feel calmer than what they did maybe last week or the week before. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting. Let's get more oracles. Okay. Let's... Okay, let me see. We've got past. Leave the past in the past. Um, has come out. So past. Leave the past in the past. So you don't want to talk about the past or anything that was triggering. They might be embarrassed, you know, that's the feeling. I'm like, they're embarrassed by their behaviour. If you've got a fool in reverse, they've been acting like an absolute prat. <laughs> or an idiot, you know. We're called prat in the UK. It's like an idiot. They don't want anyone else having you, that's for sure. Okay. You're my soulmate. It must be written in the stars because you most definitely are my destiny. We belong together. Let's see what else is resonating. No one compares to you. Oh, no, that's a song, isn't it? No one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one who compares to you. So you're it. Are they just realising this now? I think they're realising it now. Okay, let's get one more card here. 
tears. When I think about you, I cry. Maybe they are regretful. Maybe they're realising how much you gave to them on an emotional level as well. Yeah. Hmm. Something to say. There is something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. The feeling I'm getting is more like, you know, am I seeing apologies? Possibly. There's a few things I'm feeling apologetic. Um, I think they've got something to say. I really do. And I'm wondering if some... I just, when I see that card, I'm seeing a message, like a text message with really lots of information in it. So I'm wondering if they'll text you this rather than tell you because they might be a little bit chicken, a little bit scared to do that. Hmm. Unless this has already happened. They've already had something to say. Let me know in the comments section if this is resonating or I've picked up on any of you as well. Thank you so much. I hope that is helping you. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And give the video one of these. Give it a thumbs up because it really helps YouTube recognise every time you interact on the channel. YouTube's going, oh, somebody's watching that. And it starts pushing the video forward. And yes, there is, uh, that really helps. Thank you so, so much. I'll be back really soon. Don't forget to check out my collection of shorts there. I've just put up a few in the last few days that may help you if you click on them and also uh, my collective readings are coming more picker cards thank you so much my lovelies take care till next time bye